Cars stolen, windows smashed up. It's happening on school property, and the local teachers who are being targeted are frustrated, and they're really fed up. Rightfully so. Winnie Dorch now with the story you'll see on Just One Station. It was just a really terrible, invasive feeling. Megan Carlson knows firsthand the frustrations that come with having your car stolen. Her Hyundai was ripped off while she was teaching first graders here at Memorial School in Cleveland's Collinwood neighborhood. This is not what you want after a long day. You're like, how am I going to get home now? And Carlson isn't the only Memorial staff member whose ride has been targeted. Within the last two weeks, there have been at least two attempted car thefts in the school's parking lot. Here's surveillance video from May 30th. School employees tell us the male tried to steal a Kia. The secretary pulled up just in time and scared him off, but he had already busted out a window and broke the steering column. Busted all that up. Just one week later, surveillance video shows two boys lurking in the parking lot once again. Sources tell us one of them tried to get away with the assistant principal's car, another Kia. But again, a worker scares them off. This is the damage left behind. Police even said that they're picking through the steering wheel locks now. Um, and so, you know, there's really nothing you can do and it seems like you're just a sitting duck. And I would tell anybody that has a Kia or a Hyundai, I mean, if you can, I would get a different car completely. That's why Carlson now drives a Subaru. Police recovered her Hyundai the day after it was stolen. It wasn't too far from the school and um, it was totaled. They found it in a field. The back bumper was ripped off. Um, the tires, like the struts were bent. Carlson says teachers are filling out police reports, but it's not much being done after that. They're saying the same thing. I mean, it's just an overwhelming issue for the whole city. Fortunately, car thefts and break-ins at CMSD school parking lots are nothing new, a continuing problem. On February 17th, several cars were broken into at Stephanie Tubbs Jones School. The suspects were caught on camera. Carlson says she wants the district to come up with a game plan to better protect their cars. I think better security in the parking lots. I don't know if some kind of gate system would help. Um, really what would help, but I, I do think that something needs to be done because we're coming into work all day for these kids and doing our very best job with them and then to come outside and realize I can't get home or I can't come back tomorrow. It's just, it's too much. In Cleveland, Winnie Dorch, 19 News.